Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. Let's go ahead and see what your theme will be. What is your theme? What, the, what theme of the day do we need? Wow, imagine. Using your imagination is going to be the most important, okay? So it says imagine. You know, imagine how you like would like your life to look. Imagine the amount of children you would like to have. Imagine a world that doesn't have all this chaos and trickery that is going on. Um, imagine. And it says, turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought, visual, visualization, the power of aligning Im imagery and feelings, creativity, illusions. Who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in order to have the life that you want? You were gifted with the power to imagine. Dream it. You can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life that you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals, or meditating. Allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine that these things being real right now. Then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief. As soon as, and soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. So it's about imagining how much, you know, it's going to take. Imagine yourself already on that vacation. Imagine yourself already rekindling that relationship with somebody that you have been um, estranged from. Imagine what you can do and believe it and then you shall receive it. Okay. That's all part of the manifestation process. And right now we have the sun square Neptune. So this is about, uh, imagining where we would like to take our lives next. Imagine how you would like 2023 to be. Imagine, you know, how you would like the world to be. And again, so it shall be right. Actually, I want to use these cards. All right. Wow. Wow. They're already coming out. Wow. Prayer. Wow. They're already fl flying out. Okay. We got prayer. We got impasse. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and we got trickery. All right. And we've got destiny. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got completion. So with some type of an ending. Okay. I want to say for some of you, you have recently lost someone, okay? This is not new. This is somebody who has crossed over, and I feel like you're kind of at an impasse with you and your friends. It's like you've been praying on this situation, and, you know, maybe someone passed away and there was some type of trickery um, when it comes to their passing. I feel like, and now you're at some sort of an impasse. I just want you to know that this is part of the destiny. This was all planned long before these people crossed over, okay? Uh, whatever this is. So maybe, you know, people, um, you know, stole something from the family and maybe it was supposed to go to you, but unfortunately you didn't receive it. Um, and so I do feel like you're kind of like at this place of like, what do I do now? Um... For others of you, I feel like this could be a situation where there has been some form of an ending. Maybe it's at work. Um, and so you're kind of just sitting back and you're praying and you're imagining of how you would like things to be, but you're now at an impasse. You're like, okay, I've put it out there in prayer. I've ended what the universe asked me to end. And now maybe your mind is playing tricks on you on what your destiny is supposed to be. And like I said, I feel like at this very moment with the Neptune square to the sun, you're not going to have a clear view. We also have Neptune squaring that Mars retrograde as well. We had Neptune square that Gemini full moon. So I feel like not your whole, like 
your whole destiny, your, your future is unclear, but imagine how you would like it to be from this point forward. Now that you've ended certain things in your life, I feel like things can actually come to pass. You just kind of have to step back. Where's your creativity? Go within and, and, you know, listen to your solar plexus, you know, feel your way through this. And I feel like that's going to be the best way to be able to maneuver all of this energy, because I feel like in some ways your heart is playing tricks on you. So maybe for some of you, a relationship ended and you've been praying that this person will come back and maybe you've sat down and you guys have had a conversation of some sort. But now you're like, okay, well, my heart says one thing, but my mind says another. Trust me, whatever you are destined to complete, those things will come to pass. And if the destiny wants this to stay in its death period, okay, then it will. But I feel like for some of you, you're feeling very guilty for maybe how things happened in the past. Um, maybe the way things ended between the two of you. But if it's destiny, then that means if this person is supposed to be a part of your life, then they will be. But there's grief. There's grief that comes with this, but I think that you've already gone through this. You've already gone through the grief. You've already gone through the guilt, okay? But so now you're at that completion of like, okay, I've, I've been through that. Not that it's not still lingering, I feel, but I, I do feel like you're just, you're in this prayer mode. Okay. When life gives you lemons, you know, I always say cut one and cut one in half, squirt someone in the eye and run like hell. But when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Okay. Just imagine. Um, I feel like you're just in at this impasse of like full surrender of like, okay, spirit. Um, just don't let, because of your vulnerability, don't let somebody come back in and trick you into believing that they've changed when maybe they haven't. Maybe there's still a lot of water under the bridge. Maybe there needs to be time between you. And if it's destiny and, the, and you're supposed to come back together, you will. I do feel like your ancestors, if you have, if for some of you, uh, you have a mother or a father that has crossed over. For others of you, it could be grandparents. It could be friends. I feel like they are helping guide you. I see someone here also. Traveling for closure. Maybe you're traveling because you want closure, so you're just kind of taking off and you're on this hiatus. Just make sure that you don't get swept into something where you shouldn't be, okay? That's what I'm really getting with this. All right, let's see. What do the angels have to say about this, Spirit? It's a very spiritual reading. Okay, we've got two cards here. All right. So we've got Expect Miracles. Expect things to work out in your favor. Anything that is meant for you will never pass you by. And power of and intention. The imagination is all about the power of intention. So I feel like you kind of have to give it to, it's like give it to God. You put it out there. Your intentions have been made clear. And now you're just waiting for destiny to step in. And you're at their mercy. You're at the mercy of spirit right now. A lot of people don't know where they're going. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I have no clue. I can't see five feet in front of my face. I can help other people see five feet in front of theirs, but I can't see five feet in front of mine because the universe doesn't want me to know. But you had to end things for this to come to pass. So imagine now how you would like your life to be. And maybe for some of you, if you went through this breakup, it's because it needed to give you both time to decide on whether or not this was going to continue any further. And it had you had to take a step back. It's like if you love somebody, set them free. If they come back and they're yours, if they don't, they were never meant to be. Okay, so with that... You needed to be separated so that the other party who wasn't stepping up to the plate in the past 
can actually get to where they needed to be, but they couldn't do that with you. They signed a soul contract that they would do this other thing and you were just a distraction. Okay. Plus with the two of you guys being gone, it really puts you at an impasse of like, okay, this person wants to get married. They want to have children. I never thought I would get married or have children, but man, I really love this person enough that I want to invest that, you know, that commitment. This is actually a really beautiful reading. So it really just depends on how you guys want to play this. Let's look at your love reading. Hold on. Let's see. Because I can see love in this too. Expect miracles. Things are going to happen. Things are going to happen. Wow. Express your... So we have codependency. Okay. So it goes back to what I was talking about. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And maybe the addictions really are, you know, it could be actual addictions, drug, sex, alcohol. And that's why this ended, okay? Or addictions to weigh things, you know, to weigh, uh, to the way that they thought. They were addicted to a certain scenario of how they wanted things to look. But then when you got up and left, they're like, holy shit, I really love this person and I want to tell them that. Express your love. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And now, because this person is reaching out and making, a gesture towards you, you're at an impasse. You're like, is this person tricking me? Or is this a miracle that I had been hoping for all along? There it is. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay? So you just have to kind of step back. Your intentions have been made clear with the universe. They know what you want. You had to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. That's why there was a completion in this. Because whatever was going on, you guys couldn't go any further the way things were. Okay? It couldn't go any further. So now you have to step back and let nature take its course. All right. So what does this per person want to say to you? What does this person want to say to you? Oh, my nose is itching. You mean the world to me. And you're like, I don't know if I believe that. After everything you've done, I don't know if you if, if I believe that. I got a tarot card reading on you. For some of you, maybe it's time to uh, schedule your session. I have a plan, but you have to trust me. And I've, I feared that if you got too close, you would hurt me. So they walked away from you, so you couldn't walk away from them. I let my doubts and fears get the best of me at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But again, it goes back to expecting miracles. The power of intention. If the love is strong, regardless of outside circumstances and regardless of how things look, things can come back together. So there had to be a death of the old way. You had to walk away so that you could realize or this person could realize what you actually meant to them. And if, if they go through and they can show you that, you have to decide, am I going to do this? Is this a trick? Is this person here to hurt me? Or can you let everything go and realize that this is part of your destiny? Let it all go. Let go of the doubts, the worries, the fears. Let go of, you know, all the things that no longer serve a purpose, that codependency. Maybe you're, you know, you've been drinking too much, smoking too much pot, you know, or other things. Prayer. Prayer is going to be your biggest ally, okay? And whatever is meant for you will never pass you by. Anyway, you guys, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in that personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. You guys, don't forget to talk, uh, check out Jojen Hummingbird. I did open up my channel, and I love his readings. I love the way he puts out his messages. So if you guys get an opportunity, you know, go over, give him a thumbs up. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it resonates. Um, and just know that I love you guys all so very much, and I will chat with you again soon. Take care.